Hey everybody, welcome and uh, I'm excited to be here after having hosted uh, yesterday and uh, presented all these amazing speakers, uh, you know, really wanted to share my story with you guys and also get into a few of the tips and things that have helped me along the way, um, you know, and a, th a few of the like most important things when it comes to growing your business, um, you know, in network marketing in this industry. Um, to start with, you know, my story, uh, I uh, started in this industry when I was 18 years young, uh, had no idea this existed, I uh, was completely new to network marketing, uh, saw it for the first time uh, because a friend introduced me, of course, a friend introduced me, I went to the meeting, saw the presentation and it made sense right away uh, and that's what happened, I just made a decision, however, you know, sometimes you think you're going to grow a business a certain way but then the reality is very different and uh, what happened to me was the first year and a half, uh, I had no results. So here I am, uh, I'm 18 and uh, got started in the business, uh, building the business, doing everything they're telling me to do, right? I'm listening to the audiobooks, I'm uh, reading the books, I'm going to the trainings, uh, I'm going to the events, uh, I'm implementing all the right habits and uh, long story short, for a year and a half, doing all the one-on-ones, all the, all the meetings, all the, all the things that they told me to do, uh, there was simply no results. And so my, my story is a little different because I've been in the industry for about eight years now, but those first year and a half, first two years of building the business is really what I want to talk to you about uh, today uh, because nothing happened. And, and here's why nothing happened. Uh, although I was doing the right things, uh, I was saying the right things, I was maybe even talking to the right people, um, I didn't realize one important thing and that's what this training is going to be about. Uh, I did not realize that this business is all about speed. Uh, this is a business where you know, not only do you have to join the business, not only do you have to get started in this type of business, but you have to mentally make a decision and you have to mentally make a decision to build and attack this business with massive speed. Uh, you know, without speed, there's no growth in this business. And so whether you are part-time, spare time, or even if you're full-time, uh, that does not change the fact that you can build this business with or without speed. And that's what happened to me. So I got started a year and a half later, um, you know, really understood that I needed to ramp up my speed and, 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 you know, do everything that I knew, but condense it in a very short time. Uh, and from there on, you know, really grew, uh, you know, grew into one of the top earners of uh, the company that I was with. Uh, you know, build a team of thousands of people uh, in different countries, different continents. Uh, all the things that I envisioned, that I dreamed, all the goals that I wrote down, uh, you know, really uh, became true because of that one simple fact that I implemented speed into my business. Uh, and that's, that's really, you know, one of the most important things. So today, yesterday, you know, during this event, you will hear a lot of things. Uh, you will have a lot of things that you can take home with you, a lot of things that you will take notes on. Uh, but I really want to encourage you before I get started with my training that that one part of the equation, building with speed, is what's going to complete everything that you hear here this weekend. Um, you know, what I want you to do is go to your notebook maybe. Uh, you know, if you don't have a notebook, make sure you have a notebook. You know, take out a no notebook, uh, get a pen and paper, but go all the way to the back of your notebook and write down a, a big title for yourself. Uh, write down million dollar ideas for me. I want you to write that down and, and every time when, whether you hear me speaking or you hear another uh, presenter or trainer speak and say something that you believe can change and completely alter your business, we call them aha moments, right? When you hear something where you go, ah, that's, that's what I should be doing. That's what I've been missing all this time, right? You have an aha moment, like you, become, you come to the realization that this can change your business. I want you to go to the back of your notebook and I want you to write it down under million dollar ideas for me. Because what that's going to create together with the element of speed is that after this event, instead of having a notebook filled with information that goes into the back of your closet, you now have a notebook with at the end of the notebook a complete simple roadmap of things that you need to start implementing with speed, right? It's those two things. It's speed, attacking the business with speed, and knowing exactly what the basic things are that are going to make most of the difference for your business, right? So really get into that zone, you know, the next 10, you know, 5 to 10 to 15 minutes with me, uh, you know, because I really want to under, you know, help you understand how to build this business properly, um, you know, and really maybe to start with an exercise that helped me, you know, after a year and a half of being in the business, being stuck and not being able to grow. 
uh, this was the exercise, and, and I want everybody to close your eyes for a second. If you're, you're watching this, you're behind a screen, you know, behind your laptop, behind your TV, uh, maybe you're with a group of friends, maybe you're with your team, um, you know, close your eyes for a second and just think about for a moment, how does the perfect recruit look for you, right? What, what is the perfect team member? If you could describe, you know, the next perfect recruit, the next team member in your team, what would this individual look like? Would he or she uh, dress up, right? Dress properly? Would he be sharp? Would she be extrovert or introvert? Uh, would this individual, you know, be confident or talk with fear? Uh, you know, would they, uh, you know, be all about doing or all about talking? You know, describe like what, what, what does their calendar look like, right? What does their day look like? Like how does the most perfect recruit look for you. If you could recruit one person, because you know the saying in this business that you're two people away from an explosion, right? A few people can really make a difference in this business. You know, it's not only about, about becoming very good, it's, it's about, you know, finding people that are better than you, finding people that have leadership, finding people that can take your business to the next level. And so if you had to think about the perfect recruit, how would this person look like? When you think about this, you know, here's, here's the saying that, 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 you, that really reminded me of when I started building this business is when you think about the perfect recruit, write it down, look at those notes, and you see exactly the way you should be, right? You see exactly the things that you should do because everybody's looking for the next recruit. Everybody's looking for the next perfect individual to join their business, right? They have to be productive. They have to, you know, be able to present. They have to uh, network, they have to be extrovert, they have to, you know, all these things that they have to be. That's a list of how you should be. That's a list where you want to grow yourself to. That's a list of characteristics uh, that, that you want to enforce into yourself, right? Because here's what my mentor told me. And again, one and a half years into the business, right? He told me, boss, a leader of one is a leader of many, but if you cannot lead one, you cannot lead any. Meaning, you need to start with leading yourself. Right? The secret to this business, if you want to attack it with speed, right? if you want to you know, implement all these great ideas that you hear here during this weekend, if you want to you know, build a big organization, the first step, the first check that we need to do is how are you? Right? How is your leadership? Are you leading yourself? And an important question that comes with that is, have you made a true decision to build this business? Right? Because there's two moments in this business that are very important. Right? One, two of the most important moments in this business. The first moment you get started. Right? It's a transactional moment. You get started in the business. But the second uh, you know, moment in time in this business is when you really, really, really decide to go all in. Not just to give this a shot, not just to try it, but make it an obs obsession. You know, make it an obsession that you do, again, part-time, spare-time, full-time, that doesn't matter, but you decide to go all in because a leader of one is a leader of many, right? If you cannot lead one, if you, not can, if you cannot lead yourself, you cannot lead any. So are you, you know, leading yourself? Are you doing the right things, right? That's what we want to talk about here. How can we attack the business with speed and how can we make sure that you're doing the right things so that you duplicate yourself into, you know, the organization that you want? And if you think about yourself, here's a question that I want you to ask. If you were to recruit a thousand yous, what would happen? If you were to recruit a thousand yous, would there be productivity or drama? Would there be confidence or fear? Would there be results or just talk? Right? Would the mentality of those 1,000 people in your organization be, uh, if it's meant to be, it's up to me, I'm in control? Or would it be the grass is always greener on the other side? Right? Would it be everything is no problem or everything is a problem? Right? What's the mentality that you bring to the table? Right? How do you lead yourself? And maybe finally a question, if you had a thousand yous in your organization today, would it be a team filled with builders, building the business, you know, with productivity, or would it be a team filled with managers that always look you know, to somebody else to do you know, the activities, always look next to them for someone to step up? always wait for another leader, you know, to, 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 to go that extra mile, to take that next step, right? How would your business look if you had a thousand use in your organization? And what I believe in 
you know, everybody watching and tuning into this training and this event this weekend, I believe that everybody, every single one of you is a leader. I believe everybody is a leader. However, the question is, are you leading, right? The, the, the potential is there. You know, after being in the industry for eight years, uh, I've seen, you know, people rise to the top that I never expected they would make a single euro in this business. I have seen people that had no social skills, people that could not present, uh, people that even did not believe in themselves, that through training, through you know, showing up to the events, through following the basics and being consistent, you know, they grew an organization and they grew themselves into a leader. Right? So everybody, I know for a fact, everybody is a leader. And I also know for a fact that all the speakers that you see you know, during this weekend all started with nothing. They all started you know, with nothing. They did not have the ability, most of them, to speak in public. They did not have the ability to train other people. They did not have the ability to recruit. They had to learn everything right, from the ground up. Whether they you know, started from zero or they already had a little bit of experience, there was one moment in time where you know, they knew nothing about business, they knew nothing about people, and they had to learn this, right? So again, everybody is a leader, but the question is, are you leading? So in this business, what does that mean, right? If you have made the decision to go all in, right, which is really step one, not just getting started, but you, know, you say, this is it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. You made the decision to go all in. Then the next question is, how are you showing that? Right? What phase are you in? And there's four phases in this business. You know, when I train my team, when I talk to my leaders, you know, when I look at someone's organization, you know, and I talk to the leader responsible for the organization, we talk about these four phases. And I talk with people that have five people in their organization, and I talk with people that have hundreds or thousands of people in their organization. The four phases are always the same. Right? How is your leadership showing up? There's four phases. Number one, building mode. Are you building, right? Phase one, building. Number two is managing or training, right? Is phase two. Phase three, you're defending, defending why it's not working, why it's not going the way you want it. And number four, you're blaming, which is the worst of all phases, right? So what phase are you in? And there's, you know, a success formula and there's a failure formula, right? Most people are focused on either uh, blaming, defending, and a little bit of managing. Right, a little bit of training the team because training and managing feels great, right? You're, you're, if you have a little group of five people, ten people, maybe fifty people, maybe some of you, you know, big leaders out there, you have a hundred, maybe thousands of people already, right? And, and training, presenting feels great, right? But you forget that where the money is made, where productivity really lies, is in phase one, which is building. So my mentor always taught me that you know, eighty percent of your time should be spent on building the business. What does that mean? Well, in phase, you know, building phase, it means you are talking to new people. You are presenting your product or service or opportunity to a new person that has not heard about it before. That is what uh, that phase is all about. That is what building is all about, right? You're doing one-on-ones, whether it's face-to-face -face or through a call, through a Zoom call, Google call. You're doing events, right? Small events, big events, right? But you're talking to new people. So, what we're doing here today is important, right? So 80% is building, 19% of your time should be spent on training, right? So what we're doing here is important, we're training, right? When you're training your newest member to launch and to build this business, it is important. When you're training your team, you know, to build how to build this business, it is important. But it is not worth 80% of your time, right? 80% of your time should be spent on building the business. So again, you know, figure out for yourself, if you look at your calendar, how much of my time is spent with new people that have no idea about this business, about this product? How much time is spent on training and how much time is spent on all of the above? You know, uh, problem solving, blaming, defending, all the things that we do not want. And the success formula that my mentor taught me was 80% building, 19% training, and 1% is problem solving. Right? 1% is figuring out what the drama is, what the problems are, you know, problem solving. But most people flip it around. Right? Most people have a you know, formula for disaster. They spend 80% of their time defending, blaming, problem solving. They spend about 19% of their time training, right? which feels good, right? training, talking about the future. And they spend 1% of their time uh, building.
you know, talking to new people about their product, opportunity, or service. So building, are you in building mode? What phase are you in? Second thing is why are you in that phase, right? And there's a few things you can look at, you know, number one, your environment. Who do you spend time with, right? Who are the closest friends around you that are around you all the time, right? My mentor always said if, uh, you know, there's five of your best friends playing basketball, you'll be number six. If you spend time with six, you know, gamers, you'll be number seven. You know, if, if, if there's five people around you that complain all the time, have no ambition, you will have no ambition, right? So show me your friends, I'll show you your future, right? So what's the reason you're in a certain phase of blaming, defending, problem solving? Maybe it's your environment. So are you in the right environment with the right people? Um, are you showing up? You know, I was always taught that 90% of success is showing up. You know, showing up is an incredible tool to, you know, short track your success into this business. You know, it's the way to cheat this business. You know, it's, 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 it's something we call the campfire effect. You know, when you're around the campfire, where, when you're with other people, you know, around a campfire, it's warm, it's cozy, it's, it's exciting, right? All the positive emotions come up. But when you walk away from the campfire, it becomes cold, right? And that's where fear and doubt and negativity come in. So my mentor taught me, boss, fear, doubt, and negativity are allergic to big groups of people. So are you showing up to the events online like these? Are you showing up to the physical events? Are you showing up to your local trainings? Are you showing up to the one-on-ones? Are you showing up to the one-on-one -on -one mentorship calls? You know, that is important. So why are you in that phase? Is it your environment? You know, is it, you know, because you don't show up? You know, are you controlling the things that you can control? Now, you know, for me in this business, um, like I said, after a year and a half, I figured out that making that decision to go all in, doing the basics, but doing them with speed was really what, what pulled the trigger, was really what made the difference, right? So before I leave here, I want to give you a few more tips on how to speed up your business, right? Uh, first of all, focus on one thing, focus on this business. You know, yes, you want to build multiple sources of income. Yes, you want to have multiple things in the, in the future, but you know, first you want to focus on one thing, become good and great at one thing, right? And then put all your energy into that one thing. And all the to-dos, all the actionables that you had in place, that you had in store for yourself, compress them in 90 days. Do a 90-day launch, right? Do a 90-day launch where you focus on the basics, you focus on building mode, doing building activities, you focus on getting people to do building activities, and you focus on consistency and 90 day bursts. You focus on a launch, you know, you build the business with speed and I promise you that everything you do will 10x in results. Everything you do will become 10 times more easy uh, and with that, you know, your success, not only for yourself but also for you and your future team uh, will exponentially grow. So do it with speed, you know, be in building mode, make that decision uh, and I hope you have an amazing, you know, 2021 as we end and 2022 and I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.